Eastern Washington Eagles getting ready for the National Football Championship game, and they're just one win away from the school's first national football title. The Eagles are going to leave tomorrow morning for Frisco, Texas. That's outside of Dallas, where they're going to take on Delaware. And now the Eagle faithful are starting to pack for that trip. For many people, there was just no question there they would make that 1,800-mile haul. Creme Cheese Marissa Bag joins us live with a couple of alumni planning to go. Marissa? Yeah, the team leaves tomorrow, but a lot of the fans who are headed to Texas are taking the first flight out Thursday morning, and believe me, they cannot wait to go. Mike and Marnie Crawford are graduates of Eastern. They met there as students. They're huge football fans. Marnie says the decision to travel to Frisco came in the final moments of the Eastern Villanova game. Touchdown! We were in the stands. Um, fourth quarter was winding down, and I looked at him and said, take all my Christmas presents back. We're going to Frisco if they make it. The moment they got home from Cheney, they booked their tickets using frequent flyer miles and got a good rate on a hotel. We're on a really, really thin budget, but we're making it work. The couple is one of the first to score these championship game t-shirts. They don't want to miss the Eagles' chance to make history. So that's also another reason why we were going, like once in a lifetime chance for your school to go to a national championship. It's just an awesome feeling and it's great for the guys to be able to work so hard and have something to look forward to and hopefully come away with a big championship win. Even without a win, the Eagles are garnering national attention. And this time, it's not just for the field. The Crawfords can't wait to be a part of it. If the red field didn't put them on the map, this definitely puts them on the map. And Marnie Crawford mentioned to me she remembers her first game here. It was homecoming several years ago, and there weren't a lot of people in the stands. She says it's nice to see how that is changing. Reporting live in Cheney, Marissa Bagg, Creme 2 News.